Well, the nearly one month long standoff over when the articles of impeachment are sent to the Senate ends today. Natalie Brand has details on the next phase of the Democrats' case against President Trump from Capitol Hill. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi named the team that will argue the case against President Trump during the Senate impeachment trial. For trying to influence a foreign government for his own personal and political benefit. Speaker Pelosi chose seven House members as impeachment managers, including Judiciary Chairman Jerry Nadler and Intelligence Committee Chairman Adam Schiff. The emphasis is on comfort level in the courtroom. The emphasis is making the strongest possible case to protect and defend our Constitution. The full House has to approve the managers, and that vote is expected soon. Early this evening, the articles of impeachment will be physically walked from the House side of the Capitol to the Senate, where the trial is expected to get underway next week. This is the only body that can consider all factors presented by the House, decide what has or has not been proven. Speaker Pelosi withheld the articles of impeachment for nearly a month. During that time, new information has come to light. Last night, the House Intelligence Committee released text messages and documents from Lev Parnas, an indicted businessman who helped the president's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, pressure Ukraine to investigate Joe Biden and his son, Hunter. These documents are important. We have only obtained a very small sample of the universe of documents that the president is withholding. It was President Trump's phone call last summer with the president of Ukraine that triggered the impeachment inquiry. Impeach the president of the United States over a perfect phone call. It's the greatest hoax ever perpetrated on our country. The newly revealed text messages also suggest Parnas and his associates were tracking the movements of then U.S. Ambassador to Ukraine Marie Ivanovich as they sought to have her removed from her post. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Capitol Hill. All right, Natalie, a lot to process there. Yovanovitch's lawyer put out a statement calling for an investigation of whether the president's attorney and his associates were having that U.S. ambassador tailed. He called the allegations, quote, disturbing.